Yo, you too. What up? It's your boy, Shy City Trucker, checking back in with you guys. Early morning, but depending upon when I post this, it might be whatever time, right? Well, if you look at the thumbnail, get out. Get out of here. What, what are you talking about? Get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Well, recently, actually, it's not recently. It's been the past four years, but ever so often, you get to running so hard trying to make revenue and it doesn't matter if you're a lease purchase driver owner operator company driver if you just perform to the highest level of excellency that you can at some point you're going to burn out at some point you're going to need to decompress at some point you're going to need to get out you're going to need to get out the truck and in order to do that you're going to end up i've noticed anything over a 34-hour restart it's going to hurt your pockets because, I mean, the name of the game, if these wheels ain't turning, the truck ain't moving, you're not making any money. But then you have to realize, am I going to sacrifice my health mentally, physically, just overall well-being for the next mile, just chasing money, chasing revenue? So you got to kind of find that that balance. Me personally, I noticed like I, I started having these headaches this week. I was like, man, you know what? Maybe if I eat breakfast in the morning instead of hopping in the chair and, you know, doing my pre-trip and rolling out, I'll feel better. That didn't work. Well, maybe, just maybe if I can um, shut down a little bit earlier and get eight hours or nine hours of sleep, I'll feel a lot better. The headaches will go away. Didn't work either. Just got out the truck on accident. I, I didn't even plan. I just was like, you know what? I'm not driving today. And, you know, I, you know, walked around, got something to eat, just had a whole normal day outside of the hustle and bustle of trucking, headaches went away. Come to find out, of course, it was stress. You know, as big as this truck is, it's small when you're in here for weeks at a time, and it just feels like the walls are closing in, especially them guys like me who end up running recaps. So you're going away from home two, three weeks easy, trying to chase the bag, trying to get the money, and then you find yourself in a groove of getting money, all the loads are lining up and you're just making money, making money. And then you don't get a chance to do all those things that you normally do having a life, meaning, you know, spending the time with family, spending the time with friends, uh, working out, uh, getting your hair cut, uh, cutting your own grass, washing your car, whatever it is that you like to do, you can't do it if you're going to be here. Now, some people can stay out on the road two, three months at a time. And I, my hat's off to them because I think the longest I've ever stayed out on the road in almost five years was a month. And I was literally just going going crazy. I mean, it wasn't even stress at that point. It was like, I didn't know who I was. I just knew how to hold the steering wheel and make right and left turns because I was just completely just oblivious to anything going on around me. So, ah, I mean, a lot of truck drivers, I don't think talk about that, but mental health and stress, stress can kill you. Like you, if you just don't know how to, you know, release it and just either talk to somebody or get out here and do your normal things that you've done before trucking or, you know, normal life type stuff. I think it can really, really, really do some damage, man. Cause I see a lot of guys over here at this, this truck stop looking sad, beat down, depressed, not really wanting to be here. I see guys has been out here. You know, you always hear those stories. Guys been out here. I've been out here 40, 50 years. I'm like, well, wait, 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 why? You know, and a lot of them not out here that long because they, because they want to be. It's because they have to be, you know. But I don't know, man. It's just, oh man, it's it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with, with having just so much responsibility. You want to be the man. You want to be the big owner operator. Do what you want to do. Pick your own loads. Go what you want to go. Well, also you need to schedule some time outside the truck, and that's what I'm starting to starting to realize now. But it also to come off the truck, you got to remember January, February is real. It's kind of low on the, you know, on the freight side. So you get March, April, May, June, things start to pick up. Well, as things are starting to pick up, you don't want to start taking more time off. That's not going to really balance out. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to fine tune it, trying to find my happy median and, and, and make it work. But until then, I'm getting out, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out the truck. I'm just going to take some time off. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to quit trucking or nothing like that. Over here in South Carolina at this rest area, these guys over here, man, they beat down. They tired. They they don't want to they don't want to drive no more. So I said, uh, I need to make a video. I need to make a video cuz these guys out here are going crazy 
and mental health is important and they're not doing what they need to do. All they're doing is driving and they need to take care of themselves. So you, you out there, take care of yourself, decompress, get out the truck if you're in a truck. And if you're one of those guys who always gets to go home on the weekend, this video is not for you because I want to be like you and get home every weekend. So teach me the way or, or something, man, because I'm tired, I'm tired, boss, I'm tired. But from then to now, man, uh, you guys have a good one. I'm going to get on the road. I'm over here. Like I said, South Carolina got to go over the mountains to get to the destination. But it's, it's going to be okay. 42,000 pounds heavy. We scaled out. 11,560 on the steers. 33,180 on the drives. Trailer, 32,380. 77,120 gross weight. And I didn't even have to look to do that. But I wasn't quite sure. It's pulling kind of heavy. But anywho, I'm going to get on out of here. You guys stay safe and check me out. All right.